Okay, uh, in going over these videos about reloading for uh, military cartridges, I forgot one thing before I start with uh, full length rifle reciting. If you're using military brass, uh, like Lake City Ammo in 223, I think they make it in 308, and uh, Israeli military industry sells a reloadable Boxer Prime military round. It's made in a military facility. Military rifle and pistol cartridges have the primer crimped into the cartridge. And what I mean by that, I have some examples here, and I'll show you. They're the, they crimp the primer in. It's, it's a military specification. If you run these cartridges up a full uh, length resizing die with a decapping pin, it will break it. What you're going to have to do is I'm going to go over the crimp and show you how you process military brass with a crimped on primer. It's, you can, and the reason you do it is you either get it with surplus ammo, which is less expensive than factory ammo, or you can buy military brass. Uh, on a surplus market, you know, you can get once fired brass. And I'm going to kind of go over the problems in that before we get into reloading because this may be a problem. And this is first, we'll take a look. This is a 223 case, which I believe is uh, it's Lake City. Okay, and we'll try to zoom in here. And if you can see it. There's like a little round circle around there where the brass has been crimped on over the prime. That's 223. Now I have uh, Israeli military industry. You can't really see it other than the fact that, that it, it is crimped on there. It does have a crimp. You know, you can barely, they got a primer seal, but there's a little ring where that's been squeezed into the base of the case. Now the foreign military ones, these are bared and primed, they're not reloadable, but they'll have like a little little tick marks or whatever where they just stamp it in three little places and fold over a little of the brass. But bared and cases are bared and primed cases are almost impossible to reload. You can't get the uh, Barrett and Primers. So what you do is Lee sells a military brass depriming kit. I got half of it here. You'll get two bases and two punches. And what you'll have to do is punch the primer out of the brass. Now, like this base holds a 223 but I, I lost or broke, they give you a lifetime guarantee, the small punch. So I'll show you, we'll knock one out of the 308, we just get it setting over the top here, and I'll knock this out. Now another problem, your punch to knock this out. If you fire this, like I fired these cases in my M1A, they get dented up. The punch don't want to go in. What you'd have to do is run it and at least get the neck sized back to where the punch going, which now you run into a problem. And what I did is you take the resizing die, pull the, the neck expander, the ball off, and take the decapping pin out. Clean the brass, get it ready, lubricate it, size it. That way you're not doing two things. Size the brass, and then you'll be able to get your punch in, and then deprime it and I'll show you what we do with the primer pocket. Then you're going to have to do something once you drive this out you're going to have to try to remove that crimp and get the primer pocket to where it'll accept the primer. First let's show you how you decap a military round. Get your base and your punch. Go over here. And a hammer. Set the base up on a hard surface. Like I said, if I had the proper base, that would fit in there. But you get your punch down in there. Make sure it's in 
the flash hole. And then that takes out the primer. So now you got the primer out. And if you use my method of taking, you know, on a resizing die, removing the decapping pin, size them first. Manually remove with the Lee tool and set up the primer. Okay, so now you have to do something about that crimp, that little lip on there. Because what it is, is it, you know, you can feel it, there's like a little lip. So, RCBS makes a primer pocket swaging tool. Basically what it is, it's a little punch that will form the brass in the pocket back to its original shape. There's a what is called a case stripper and basically a die with just a rod in it and what the rod does is engages the case and then you press the ram up with this in there and this will swage the primer pocket out. So, what you do is take this, put it in where the shell holder goes in your press. Place this over. And you see what, what this does is this is going to pull the case off. The instructions you got two rods. I got the small one in there, but you got a small and a large rod. And the rod goes in, and you can adjust the height either by turning this in and then turning this screw, which will move the rod up and down. And what you have to adjust is the rod to the base to where when that comes on the upstroke, it pushes the primer in. Or the case down onto the swaging part of the tool. And I, I haven't used this in years. I don't know how to adjust it. We're just going to go run this down. Well, it looks like that case doesn't really have a. There we go. About right there, I feel some resistance. So, see, you run it up, bring it down. And that does the trick. You got to tweak this, get it right, so that thing goes up into the primer pocket and sizes the whole primer pocket all the way to the base. And this is where when you use all your brass has to be the same brass, the same make, the same year, because if there's a slight variance, you're going to have problems. You know, won't you know? They might be a, a hair different, and they won't size it all the way up. Then your primers, when you go to prime, your primers are going to hang up, get caught, get twisted, not be all the way. And I've had slam fires where the primer wouldn't go up in all the way, and just was protruding just a hair, where you didn't notice it. And in a semi-automatic gun, I'd fire around, and then when that bolt slammed home, fortunately, the gun locked up for it went off. So using a military brass can be a hassle. I've done it. It's not impossible to use it. It's just a lot of work. And you have to justify the amount of money you're saving getting the uh, once fired or using that brass compared to using just commercial brass. Uh, that's going to be up to you. But there's a lot of, you just be forewarned that the Military brass is a crimped on primer, and there's a lot of work to getting it done. Um, all right.